We are Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. We're coming at you first time on the channel with some Lee Evans. Highly requested. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, almost every Billy Connolly, Al Murray, community post, Instagram meme. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Wake we hear up in the morning, Evans. written on my mirror in my bedroom. Yeah. Al Murray. Or not really. Lee, Lee Evans. Evans. We decided we would start with the best bits. Yeah. So, from Roadrunner, I guess it's a uh, special. Special. Look at that crowd, though. Yeah, it's got a lot of people there. So oh, yeah. It must be funny if he's got all these people here. I hope so. Yeah, but there's only one way to find out. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. My wife keeps telling me where she's going. Keeps telling me where she's going. She's just nipping up the shots, just popping up the toilet, nipping, fucking popping everywhere she is. <laughs> Women have their own time and dimension, and no other fucker knows. What's a nip? What the fuck's a pop? Is a nip faster than a pop? <laughs> Is that a nip? And that's a pop. <laughs> I wish they'd tell us, because my wife does it all the time. We'd be driving through the ice street, she just gets out of the car and fucks off. I'm just nipping in here. Don't be fucking nipping anywhere! <laughs> well, I'm going to be in the line here. What am I going to tell the traffic when she starts nipping out a ticket and popping on me fucking windscreen? <laughs> She's got... For us Americans, nipping means something completely different. 100%. It just, it just means uh, <laughs> the thing that's on our chests. Yep. <laughs> Loads of them! What? <laughs> She's got low. I like how it's universal, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we have that, uh, that, that husbands of Target. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of the same thing. It's, it's a universal I'm just going to pop in. Yeah. Never saw her again. Yep, at least not for another two hours. Yeah. And then at hour three, she was on the local news. Like, she's missing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's got loads of them. She'd be going out the door. I go, how long will you be? She goes, I'll be back before you even know it. <laughs> Why, tell me then. <laughs> I wouldn't have fucking known, would I? You ever played Spot the Difference with your wife? It's fantastic. She goes out, gets her hair done, comes back in and goes like, ah, da da! <laughs> You're standing there going, now I know this one. <laughs> She's like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're like, no, no, I got it earlier. You had a really happy face. Now you got a fucked off one. <laughs> I was just getting ready. It's strange when you put your trousers on, isn't it? You start doing all that bopping up and down, you know? Why is it when you're trying to pull your trousers up, you start going up at the same time? <laughs> so you're trying to the fuckers as you put them on. I mean, you wouldn't put a hat on like that, would you, you know? <laughs> you know, the blokes always do that when they put their jacket on, they do all that extra, got my jacket on, got my jacket on, got my trousers on. Hey, where are you going? A funky town. <laughs> my wife always does that. Whenever we're going out the door, you know, whenever we're going out the door, do I need a coat? Do you think it's going to get cold later? Do you think it's going to, do I need a coat? Oh, 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 just a minute, love. As you can see by the isobars, just sweeping in from the- How the fuck do I know? Why? <laughs> this guy's got a lot of energy. Oh my god, he's, dude. He's like, does he, he's like, does he snort cocaine before like, he goes This guy, on? this guy's, oh man. Whatever he's selling, I'll buy. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He could be selling dog turds. I'd buy it. <laughs> my god, dude. But that's funny. It's like, but that's, that's... That again, I like to see that that's universal. Yeah, exactly. I love that. It's like, yeah. is it going to get cold? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, yeah. <laughs> I like that. The wind's coming in from how the fuck do I know? Like, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. The fucking mat office. Oh, no, women never take a coat out. No, no, no. They don't need one. No, they've already got one. It's lovely and warm. I should know. It's called fucking mine. Because <laughs> you know when you're out and they start doing all that shit, you know? Ah, uh, 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 fuck, do you want me coat, love? And they go into their Titanic Kate Winslet on a piece of driftwood routine. No! I'll be all right. Ah, uh, yeah, love, have me coat. You know the one I brought out for me to keep me? Fucking warm! <laughs> People say the most ridiculous things. Like the other day, I was standing out here next to a door and a bloke went like, oh, you can't stand there, that's a fire door. If there's a fire, people are gonna be running out of there. I said, I won't be standing here, will I? I'll be running with every other fuck you twat. <laughs> ridiculous. 
It's like the other day I was standing on a platform of a station, an announcement come over the speaker, the next train is a non-stopping service. I'm standing there, a train went... <laughs> What's the point in telling me that? <laughs> That's like walking over to the garden and going, see that train? I'm not getting on it. <laughs> That's like one of us running past the station going, hey, I'm not coming in. <laughs> Same thing. And what is it? What is it these days, people in cars, right, at level crossings? You know, they're perfectly rational people until they see that barrier start to come down. They run a little bit late and the train's coming. They sit there and they go, ah, mm, here's me in a Fiat Uno, a small crushable object made mostly of plastic and alloy. And here comes a huge fucking train doing 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Let's see if I can be here. <laughs> ding, 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 fuck! Ha ha! <laughs> what did they think the train driver was gonna swerve? <laughs> That's definitely a hold my beer moment. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make it? That's some famous last words. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I got this this Honda Civic suited up. I know we can beat that train. Wow. <laughs> like, whenever there's a train track, I always think like. Now is the time to break down because that's how life works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> if you have never had a problem with your vehicle, that's the time it breaks down. Right. <laughs> On the train tracks. Oh, God. You've got to look after yourself. You know, I go for all my checkups. I don't like going up the dentist. I hate it in there because now they make you wear those huge, big plastic glasses. Fuck it, why, why, why? When I got the opticians, they don't make you wear a pair of giant joke shop goofy teeth, do they? <laughs> I've upset our local optician. I've upset him. You know when he asks you to read the war chart when you go for your eye check? I, I just thought, as a laugh, I thought I'd read it all as one word. You know, just to lighten the proceedings. <laughs> so I sat there and went, <laughs> You should have seen the optician. Fuck it, nothing. Some Polish bloke in a corner gun. <laughs> In the opticians, he turns all the lights out and I should read the war chart. What am I, a fucking bat? <laughs> and why do they have to come in so close to examine your eyes? I mean, he's right here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> fucking hell, you can't right. see from there, mate. We're both fucked. <laughs> you know, when he's in real close like that in that darkened room, you know, when he comes in like real close and goes, ah, what can you see now? Just sit there and go, I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Shits himself. <laughs> I mean, you watch the news, it shits you up. Did you see all the riots in that in London? Have you noticed every time there's a march that goes through any city, the bloke at the front with the megaphone, have you noticed? He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing there. He has to ask everybody else, what do we want? <laughs> Everyone has to tell him, no more cuts. Ah. <laughs> when do we want it? Now. You try watching the news. You can't watch the news anymore. It's impossible. They've got the football scores going across the screen one way, the Dow Jones index going across the screen the other. You paid a million quid for a giant flat screen TV and they squeeze the newsreader in a four inch gap. Going like, ah. Here's the news. <laughs> it's impossible. They try anything to stop us watching the news. They say the next piece contains flash photography. What they're saying is they don't want any epileptics to see what's coming up next. <laughs> Fucking leave them alone. What do you suffer from that in your photographer? It must be a nightmare, you know? Have you taken it yet? <laughs> Fucking hell, you all right, mate? <laughs> they try anything to stop us watching the news. They say the next piece contains graphic scenes that some viewers may find disturbing. I don't know about you, but the first thing I reach for is the remote. Shut up, there's something fucking good on for once. <laughs> And the satellite link, good luck with watching the satellite link on the news, you can't watch it, it's impossible. They keep losing reception. They go, and now over to John in the middle of Libya. There's some bloke in the middle of Libya going, I am in the middle of Libya. Dude, uh, let's just take for a moment. You see how much he's sweating? Dude. <laughs> Dude. Oh, but well, this is a massive crowd 
Yeah. The lights are probably a million degrees. Like, and the dude's body is fuck. And and he's just going off. <laughs> God, uh, he's fast. Yeah. Like, Jesus. I was thinking like the the news here in America, like you know, like at least the local news, like it's not like it's not like, you know, that small, but no. when you go to, like, you know, CNN or Fox News, and it's, it's just too busy. smaller. It's just too busy. Too busy, yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're sat there going, fuck, I didn't know the King's speech was on tonight. <laughs> they have no news for deaf people. Cause that's on at three o'clock in the morning. What they're saying is all deaf people are insomniacs. <laughs> and they don't get to find out what's going on until that bloke pops up in the corner and starts to tell them. Do you know what he's saying? Go to bed. <laughs> it's three in the fucking morning. <laughs> you must be that, yeah. Oh my God. Then you've got the highlight of the evening, the best man's speech. Oh, everyone loves a best man's speech. And I feel sorry for these go. best men because they've been practicing for months and months. But they always forget one thing, microphone technique. As soon as they stand up, they fuck it up. As soon as they stand up... It's working. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Great. Now, as you know, me and Darren, we've known each other since we were all oh, fucking what? That... that to have Nan with us, so a big wave to Nan, everyone. <laughs> you'll get a little toddler, you know, wander out into the dance floor during the speeches, you know, about 18 month old kid. You'll see him just wander out like, <laughs> You know, his mum comes out all embarrassed. I'm so sorry. His dad comes out doing exactly the same thing, pissed out of his head, you know? <laughs> that same woman comes out, you know? I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah! Fuck you! <laughs> I should do more sport. <laughs> so, a couple of things there. First of all, you know, we've been, you know, in music for a little while, and we know proper microphone technique. Maybe. maybe. I, I don't know if I know proper microphone techniques. I just know not to reject it. Right, <laughs> like, right, like, right. Keep it there. Yeah, yeah, you know. And don't talk up all, all all up on it. Yeah, don't 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 go like this into your microphone. Or you know, just walk away like like this and be just talking all the way over here. You probably can't even hear me from here. I mean, you don't even know what I'm doing from this angle. But that's proper microphone, or improper. That technique. is totally improper microphone technique. And I'm totally just drinking uh, uh, apple juice over here. He's not. And he put something up on the screen. Exactly. That I have no control of. <laughs> so. Sorry, I had to indulge all there. Yes. <laughs> okay. Stats for nerds. Yeah, what exactly. The fuck is that that? Um, oh, and also the second thing. That's why you try to. Uh, make it so that uh, kids are not invited, and make that clear in the invitation. Yeah. Unless you got a babysitter there. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're not the funny ones here. Lee. He is. is. Yeah. So let's go. I've never been a sporty bloke, you know? Even when I was at school, I was like a twat in PE in cricket. They used to send me out to the edge of the field. Go on, Evans, you shit. I was always a fielder. I'd be miles from any state of play. I'd be on the edge of the field on my own going, Wee -a -a -a. <laughs> <laughs> Then what would happen is like, Evans! Yeah? <laughs> I got it! Yeah! 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 <laughs> The javelin? You should see me with the javelin. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Basketball? I was always more interested in the noise your shoes made on the basketball court, you know? <laughs> I tried that cage fighting. 
I tell you, them budgies can be fucking vicious, can't they? Man, this guy. I, 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 you need like 10 cups of coffee to <laughs> understand him. 10 cups of coffee, five monster energies, three ripples, and five lines of cocaine. Yeah, to... and then you're like, oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you know what? That, that was awesome. Two pounds. That was awesome. We need more thumbs than that. Man. Yeah, that was uh we're gonna we're gonna have him again. Yeah, on yeah. The channel. I, I understand now why you guys were kept commenting Lee yeah. Evans. Because yeah. this guy is awesome. You know, this is more along the lines of that uh the the dad joke comedy. Yeah, it's like yeah. Punchline, punchline, punchline. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whereas whereas <laughs> the yin, Billy Connolly. Yeah. Uh Tells an elaborate story. Yeah, yeah. Paints a picture. Yeah, absolutely. Not really punchline comedy. Right. Yeah, but more story of a storyteller. Yeah, yeah. This is just you. You got to get buckled in, or else yeah. this shit will just. You're gonna miss something. You know, and, and and but that's a great thing because because even if you miss something, by the time you come back to it, he's already on the next joke. Right, right. So you must miss at least a quarter of material by laughing. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, man. I like this, man. Yeah, the whole sports thing. Yeah, that was definitely me in uh, in school, too. Like, the highlight of my uh, sports career in high school was me in seventh grade when I was on soccer uh, or football, whatever y'all want to call it. Football. And uh, uh, I was just spinning in midcourt or midfield. And, like... <laughs> I love the fact that you just called it a court. Like, he said something about basketball. <laughs> that was middle of the soccer field, spinning midcourt. <laughs> and then the team scored a touchdown. Uh, you can tell we don't fake these things, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, thank y'all for liking, comedy, subscribe, and hitting the bell and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Until next time, give us some more Lee Evans to check out. Yes. And wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose. And embrace the suck. See y'all next time. Later.